Hi, Taurus. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what the week brings for Taurus. What is, what's going on in these cars and these streets for Taurus? What's happening? All right, so it looks like we got the Eight of Wands in reverse. These cars should not be reversed. Okay. Some of my deck is reversed. All right, I'm going to just go with it. The Eight of Wands in reverse, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So no reconciliation, no communication. Um, communication is not getting to you or something is blocked or uh, someone is not declaring how they really feel. The temperance card in reverse you may have definitely is no reconciliation it's no coming back together it's no making it work it's no working together with this person you could have been dealing with this particular person job anything for a very long time you cut something off or cut it out what's going on here for Taurus? Uh, wow the hangman in reverse um so you're not willing to make the sacrifice, the king of pentacles in reverse for somebody who was acting like they had money when they really didn't. Somebody who was staying in a relationship out of obligation or, yeah, they were out of obligation or that they needed to stay there because they really didn't have resources or money. The two of wands in reverse. Somebody is, um, somebody thought it was the grass was greener on the other side. I heard with a younger person or a, a lesser inexperienced person or something like that or somebody something is completely cut off somebody's done okay someone is done uh, somebody's options are done somebody can't come back towards you you can't go back let's see what is going on here the queen of wands somebody got absolute clarity that somebody was after them for maybe sex or sex only was coming at them at yeah the agreement was just sex sex only so somebody said you know what i can do better i'm going to do better i can find better you know i'm sexy i'm this i'm that i am better somebody was also like liking to be around your energy because you're funny you're charismatic outgoing you're self-starter maybe even an innovator in some sort you uh uh, like a business owner or you just not a, you're not afraid to put yourself out there the two of cups here it's like somebody definitely wants to reconcile with you it could be a fire sign somebody sees stability with you ace of cups but in reverse somebody, but it's like over for you or over for another person if you're trying to go towards them somebody's completely over the cup has run out the love has gone away i don't feel the same about you uh, is what someone is saying the justice card yeah the, there will be no uh making it right coming back to me apologizing i'm good uh the hermit in reverse uh, somebody's coming out of being stuck or trying to gain knowledge about this person, it's like it already came out. Somebody's like, okay, this person had me fooled for a while, but I'm good. You know, I'm walking away. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Death card in reverse. Somebody's definitely, this, somebody's saying it is over, over. The Death card upright, believe it or not, talks about maybe a pause, a breakup in a relationship, and a possible coming back together. But in the reverse, it's like, it's over and we're not coming back together. There is no transition. There is no transformation happening. Somebody didn't change or they're not changing or someone's not independent or somebody doesn't take care of themselves or somebody doesn't have money or somebody's just, um, you know, not don't look good on paper. Definitely not looking good in my face. So, yeah, the lovers in reverse. The king, is the whole deck reversed? No. No, the lovers in reverse. Somebody's saying this was a false soulmate, twin flame, or somebody's not recognizing this as a significant relationship. Somebody is maybe recognizing this relationship as a waste of time, energy, space. S someone is saying that this person is emotionally manipulative. They'll say anything. They use their words, you know, just to manipulate somebody was keeping all this different energy up or x's around 
to feed their ego and maybe even take from them. Somebody could be trying to come back towards you because their other option is left. Yeah, Queen of Cups. It doesn't look like you have any love for this person. You're just trying to maintain your emotional stability. Uh, you could be a new mother, okay? Um, you just don't need anybody coming back trying to destabilize you and your emotions here. You understand that? It's like your intuition. You li you're listening to your intuition. You're listening to how you feel. Three of Cups. Someone could be looking at you or you're looking at someone as the one that has gotten away um, that you want to reconcile with or they want to reconcile with you. This person could have had you in a third party situation. Um, and now that that other person is gone, they want to run to you. I heard rescue. Yet the sun card in reverse, the world in reverse. You feel like this is not a good choice. This is not a good person. Um, there's no, it's like a black hole, you know, dumping your energy into this person here. Um, there will be no progression, no maturity of the relationship. It'll just be around and round, you know, a roundabout. You guys, there'll be no growth. The world card talks about maturity and growth. The sun card talks about someone who comes into your life and brings a lot of happiness and contentment, but it's in reverse. So you don't feel like this person can do this. Or they feel like you can't do this. Somebody's saying the child is not theirs. Yeah. Yeah, official person. You could be dealing with this person officially, or this is how they deal with you. Yes, no, maybe answers. They don't even give you a paragraph. They don't give you a full sentence. Um, or this is how you're dealing with someone here. Someone is committed to, married to, their profession, their career. Yeah, the thief here. This is somebody who's an absolute liar. Someone who may have come off like this, or like they were the boss, or they had this, or they had that. They had money, they had this. They could do this for you, um, but all the while they were coming to take the thief, okay? And they were they were taking, and they will take um, because they are in need. Got some cards coming out. Message of concern. So you have to, um, so I don't know, you learning about this makes you rethink, reconsider. You learning about this. Yeah, somebody sees you as the cash cow, the privileged lady. They want you to hear them out about how their family took advantage or somebody took advantage or the people around them took advantage of them or somebody needs a place to live or stay. They're on tough times or hard times. Or it was hard. It's hard for them right now. Or this relationship or marriage that they were in was hard. But now they want to come towards you. Good luck with this, uh, Taurus. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. What part resonates for you? Who is trying to come and just really F up your life? That's what it looks like. Uh, let me know if that resonates for you. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. But before you do that here on YouTube, click the community tab, grab a discount code, and then head over to the website. That's my thank you to you. Thank you again. Have a really good week. Take care.